asked if I would look at the tune Water Baby by Tom Mish. Um, I've done a, a few videos on Tom recently and specifically on Monday I accidentally did a chord video instead of doing a lick video but I thought Friday we talk about chords. Let's break down Water Baby. I couldn't find anyone else breaking this down on YouTube yet so maybe one or two of you might find this useful. This tune is a little bit strange I think some of this, you know, it might be jazz influence. I think also in the London scene, the idea of kind of parallel uh, chords and stuff, it's not necessarily like strictly jazz harmony or anything, but I will just talk you through. It's like this idea of looping. It's a chord vamp that goes around, but let's just talk through it. So I'm hearing the home for this predominantly. <laughs> as D flat major. And we start, in my opinion, on chord four. And that's kind of the first part of the vamp. So we start down here. I'll show you on the screen the live kind of chords that I've grabbed this from. I, I watched his video playing this at the Jazz Festival in Montreux. Or was it Montreal? I don't know how you say it. So we get this. So we start with a G flat. Um, so here, second fret. Uh, I'm playing that with the thumb, and I think he does too. And then we get the F here. And then we get a B flat here. And then on the second fret, we get a D flat, right? So you have thumb like that. And then we move down to an F minor and back up. So we get a... And if you've learned any Tom Misch before, you will have learned this kind of chord. Every progression that I've looked at of his, his includes this somewhere. So this is like a sus chord. It can be either minor or major, because, you know, that's the, the job that it can do. Um, so here we've got a B flat on the sixth fret and A flat on the sixth fret as well on the D string a C here on the G string at the 5th fret and then we have a E flat here at the top on the B string on the 4th fret so you get and then some other really common chords that Tom likes to do uh, we start here with a D flat and I think that's on the 4th fret on the 3rd fret probably bar here and then we play an E flat at the top on the fourth fret as well. So we're on the third fret here, fourth with our middle finger, bar on the third fret with the index, and then you kind of hammer on, and that's kind of the movement. So you get like a hammer on with a pinky down to an A flat. So you get. Something like that, I think. The keys are playing even more dense voicings, but I think this is what Tom is doing live. So you could just loop that round to start with. And you could think about this as chord four, three, four, six, one, five, four, three, four, six, one, five, four, three, four, six, one, five. And I'm not sure if he, he may even hammer on to that fifth fret for the A flat as well. Sometimes, or he may not. So you might get something like. Okay, and then the second part is the, the weirder part. So from here we go up to an E flat. So we get in this kind of power, parallel movement up to another key. So we get an E flat. So we got the sixth fret on the A string and then do that kind of same thing as that D flat 
but up here so we get the E flat here then we bar on the third, uh, fifth fret then with the ring finger play the sixth fret and then hammer on from all the fifth to the seventh fret wise and then we have a passing chord of an A flat 13 I think so an A flat so fourth fret fourth fret again uh, fifth fret on the G string and then sixth fret on the B string so you get this and then down to a G minor 9 and he sometimes does that rundown something like that something like that yeah And then we go from a B flat here, so we get the sixth fret and then bar on the fifth fret here on the D and the G string. And the same idea again from the fret fifth to the seventh, hammer on. And then down to the D flat. And we're hammering on from the third fret to the fifth fret. So you get slowly something like this. Then up to the E flat. And you know, some of what he's doing with his pinky. Could move that around and experiment with that but the the basic gist of what he's doing and then something like that Um, but yeah, just practice a lot of the, the shapes are actually quite similar to, to one another. So the, the main thing to concentrate on is that pinky. Okay, um, so in terms of the, the key, so this first part, very much in D flat major and then up here to E flat major and then this is a tritone sub to G minor so we effectively go in D7 to G minor um, but with this A flat 13 is a tritone sub for the D7 so the home there is G minor then up to B flat which is still G minor, then B flat, and then up to D flat. Those are the, the chords for that vamp um, and I think also the home for them. So just again, four, three, four, six, one, five, then up to E flat for a key change, five of G minor, G minor, which is now home, B flat, the relative G minor, to D flat major. So we're back to our kind of square. just practice or getting this sense of whether we've got our root on the sixth fret or uh, on the sixth string or the fifth string um, that the rest of the hand tends to be doing the same kinds of movements three four and 
then like it's a bit of a, a trick to kind of remember where you are in the thing because it's a little bit bits of it look similar to what came before so yeah it's a bit of concentration needed uh, where are we But yeah, hopefully that was vaguely useful. If you were looking to play Tom Mish's Water Baby, I'll put together an intro and backing track now, which you'll be able to grab on Patreon if you want to, but hopefully you could kind of just work it out from there if not. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Feel free to like and subscribe. Cheers.